Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly meeting. Well, your general reading. <laughs> I don't know how often these are coming out now, so you can kind of take them as they will. So welcome to your general reading with me, Cindy. It's nice to finally get to you and your energy. The last of the fire signs. <sighs> I feel very compelled, Sagittarius. Well, you know, here's the funny thing. I feel very compelled now, but it took a while to get there. I woke up this morning and I just thought nothing's coming to me, but I knew I tend to go to sleep at night with a kind of an intention of what I know I'm going to do the next day, what my plan is. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does happen. So I expected to wake up with an idea of what kind of theme of a reading I was going to do for you today. And it wouldn't come. It just was not coming. And then as I got closer and closer, I just kept hearing like, just keep it simple. Keep it simple. <laughs> and I, it's funny, I'm having a very clumsy day. I typically am clumsy, period. <laughs> so I put a little more clumsiness on top of my clumsiness and it's like clumsy squared. <laughs> it's total, it's like Duran Duran, it's clumsy clumsy. So I don't know if I, and, and I sat down to do your reading. So bear with me here. <laughs> As I sat down to do your reading, it's almost like it became more clumsy. And and then there was something else that had to be done before I could start doing the video. I sat down with the cards. One of the decks I'm gonna use is Return to Spirit, and I've been using the little book lately with it because I love the messages in there. And I sat down, oh, I didn't have the book. So I had to get up and I had to get the book. And then I was pre-shuffling and all the cards, literally all the cards but two fell on the floor. So, oh, I gotta pick all that up. So I picked all that up and then, um, Oh, and then I sneezed and I had to blow my nose. <laughs> it just feels like perhaps, maybe, there's just a lot of little things that keep interrupting life or you're just feeling awkward. I don't know. So, it, you know, all of this feeling and experience that I'm, it's almost amplified as I sit down to do your reading. Um, maybe that's why we're keeping it simple. But I don't want to say this isn't going to be an in-depth reading because it is it's what i call my general reading there's 11 cards that come out in this spread and we look at your energy your state of mind your immediate future um weaknesses to work on energy that you're unaware of your strengths potential outcomes advice there's a lot of stuff in this but it's very um it's not just an intuitive read which is what kind of i've been doing the last few days maybe that's part of it too for me i'm feeling a little bit tired after doing because they tend to be a little more draining but I was sort of confirmed as I sat down and everything just became very clumsy and awkward. And so that's what we're going to do. And I am starting though, I'm going to find out what your overall energy for this reading is with the um, Return of Spirit Oracle deck. And then I'm going to use my tarot. This is one of my favorites now. Oh, Mr. King Cups is on the bottom. Is the, um, well, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> You know what? We are not always on our best game every day, but this is, I really, I really want to read cards today. So just bear with me. You know, be kind. Whatever. You don't have to be kind in the comments. I think it doesn't bother me anymore. I really don't care. I don't care. So we're going to go into here and um, we're going to see what we got for you. There is an extended at the end of this reading. Um, so the last two cards in this reading are the potential outcome. There's a card for that. I will clarify it. Like I'll go in depth here. And then the advice card. And I'll clarify that too, unless it's like crystal clear. But in the extended, I'm literally going to continue to pull off on the potential outcome and the advice cards. I'm going to pull off on those and see how much more I can get for you in the extended. The link is at the top of the description if you're drawn to it. I'm finding my lips are getting tired too. <laughs> I don't know if you feel like me, Sagittarius, I feel like just a hot mess. It's not even hot. It's like a cold, it's a cold sour mess. Because I've got braces down here now. I've got rubber bands. i got wax. Uh, it's like taking the dog for a walk um, with my son. And all of a sudden, it was like something in my mouth. Just floating around in there. And, oh, it was wax. I'm just a mess. Just a mess. But that doesn't mean I can't read for you. So I'm going to do it. I just feel like doing it. Yeah. That's what I want to do today. I want to read cards. So we're going to do that. We're going to start with your first card in this spread. 
is with this return of spirit. We're going to take some time. We're going to absorb whatever card comes through without putting everything else out first. <sighs> the overall energy of this reading for Sagittarius. The overall energy of this reading for Sagittarius, for my Saggies. Caretaker. Interesting. I love this card, like the two different energies coming together here. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to go right to the book and I'm going to read. They're very short little um, bits of information on these cards, meanings. All right, here we go. Caretaker for Sagittarius. You are an endless giver. If anyone has a need or requires assistance in any way, you are right there to help. Essentially, you are an earth angel. Every life you touch is made better. Whether you know it or not, your heart is big and the support and love you give is even bigger. You are one of the souls who are here to either nurture the world or the people in it. However, there comes a time when we have to consider our needs over others. We have to make our own well-being a priority. Even if that means it may not please others. You have to come first right now. Oh, this is interesting. Although it may feel as though it is going against your very nature to do so, it is vital that you put yourself first. Your physical and emotional well-being needs, well needs to be nurtured and maintained. This ensures that when you do give some, someone else, when you do give to someone else, what you give has substance. Wow, that's pretty accurate, isn't it? If you're totally depleted, what, what do you have to give? Your personal value cannot be defined solely in what or how much you give to others. Your value and worth as a person come from all the incredible qualities that make you, you. Maybe this is the time you finally say no or create a boundary in some way. It is time to give to yourself and restore balance in your life. You are a beautiful soul with much to give and a beautiful soul who deserves to receive. If there is something you need, or if you could use a little assistance, Spirit is encouraging you to allow others the opportunity to give to you. You know, you know from your own experience how good it feels to give. So now you need to give the ultimate gift and allow someone else to give to you. It's time to allow the caretaker to be taken care of. Oh, so you just sit down and you relax, Sag, and I'm going to give you a reading, right? Yeah, maybe this is why I'm feeling like, Fum very fumbly, like very, very fumbly, uh, sitting down trying to, you just can't, maybe that's the universe trying to tell you, Sag, you need to just take a little break, you need to give to yourself somehow right now. What's at the bottom? Oh, I'm sorry if you hear that too, at the washing machine, and it's right above where we are, so you might hear like, mm. it's not a spaceship coming down, at least I don't think it is. You have knowledge at the bottom. I think the universe would like to communicate to you, to be quite honest. I think you might be um, at a point in time for some downloads, from some intuition to come in, um, from some, for, almost like some thinking beyond your own to sort of come into your mind. And that is part of what this caretaking is about. If you are so distracted and so pulled into other people's energies, you know, the universe spirit can't really connect with you. And I would imagine that that connection has something to do with continuing to, uh, to heal you, to develop your journey, to give you inspiration and ideas towards progression in your journey. Everyday Witch is Tarot. That's what this is called. Sorry. All right, I'm going to pull out, we pulled out the first one, so we're going to pull out 10 more cards in this general reading spread for Sagittarius.
Yeah, you need time here to process something I am feeling. You need time to process something. So I'm gonna show you each card. I'm gonna tell you what it what its placement signifies in this spread. And then I'm gonna just start reading for you and I'll start clarifying as I need to go. Your mental emotional state. You have the justice card. What you um, are guided to do to move forward, actions to take. You have the seven of pentacles. Your recent past, most significant, is the sun. Something is giving you clarity here. Before I keep going, I just, I just want to say that perhaps this is also a reason to step back from other energies and other distractions. Because there's something in your recent past that's quite clear. And I feel a little bit like maybe you don't even realize that. If you're, you know, if you haven't had time to process something, I feel like you, you need time to process something here. You need to give yourself some time to process something. Immediate future, most significant, the Nine of Cups. That's also very good energy. Your strength is the Two of Swords. You need time to process. Uh-huh. Energy that surrounds and supports you right now is the Four of Pentacles. You see how this is going? This is really, to me, it's talking about, um, it's okay to be indecisive. It's okay to feel a little blocked off. It's okay to want to feel like not moving or keeping your place in time right now, like not to do anything. Just wrap yourself up in a blanket and stay in the house. Like there's something here that you need to process energy out there that you are not aware of a surprise from the universe is the page of pentacles that's really curious i just feel like an opportunity an opportunity to get something going your weakness what you need to work on is the queen of cups expressing your feelings and your emotions I do feel like you need to connect with yourself for something here though. And maybe that's part of what the weakness is. Because the Queen of Cups is about, you know, mutual love and feelings and emotions and the expression of that and the openness of that. But there's something inside you because the potential outcome, the universe is lining you up here for a period of um, some sort of healing. Four of Swords. Healing, rest, contemplation, recovery. The advice card now is the Four of Cups. This is where, sorry, your advice card is the Four of Cups. This really sealed it for me that you, you the universe and your deeper soul would sort of like you to take some time to process something here. Because this is the Four of Cups can be a um, pity party. We all need them sometimes though, you know. <laughs> we all need a pity party every once in a while. Um, there's something that you're going to learn doing this. I mean, that's really the point of anything that we go through. Well, happiness and ecstasy and all that stuff too. But there's something else here that to process, like advice, go into the Four of Cups. Allow yourself to feel like opportunities are passing you by. Allow yourself to focus on what you feel is a missed opportunity. There's a little party waiting. Behind, there's a beautiful, this is a beautiful setting, actually. I mean, she looks like she's on a tropical island somewhere. She's got her best little doggy friend there. Oh, no, it's a kitty cat. Yeah, no, there's no doggies in this. Little calico kitty looking at the lobster and the wine and the grapes and the bread and the salad and the balloons. It's a clear day. You're on the beach. Oh, but these three glasses of wine spilled. Right? You know, but you're being advised kind of just to, to focus on the spilt the spilt wine the spilt milk i feel like with your mental emotional state being justice and your strength being the two of swords they're both semi-blindfolded there's something to find within you there's some sort of knowledge or information I do feel like even an answer has come to you somehow because your mo recent past is the sun. This is clarity. It could also be wish fulfillment, 
But it's really speaking strongly to me in this reading for you as clarity. Something needs to be processed here for you. And once you've processed it, I find fours, fours are very healing. Fours are very divine. Because both your outcome and your advice are a four. A four of swords and a four of cups. And what's really nice though is your recent past is the sun. And your immediate future is still a really high vibrational positive card. It's the nine of cups. So it is reaching some sort of wish fulfillment here. Okay, I just feel like there's something that the universe has shown you somehow in your journey up to the point of coming to this video that's going to give you clarity, that would give you clarity, but maybe you can't see it, or maybe you kind of think, yeah, but I don't know how that's going to happen. Because what you need to do to move forward, too, is the Seven of Pentacles. And that's kind of thinking about, well, what's giving me success here and what isn't? What's ready to harvest and what isn't? Should I continue investing in this or not? Like, and these are real things, like taking a real approach in your life. It's a pentacle. Taking a real approach here in your life, and what's supporting you right now is not to move. If you put it out there to friends, families, co family, colleagues, whoever, whatever, that I'm just taking some time right now, uh, put one of those, you know, in your emails. I discovered you could do that. I thought you could only do that like with work emails, but you can do that. I discovered that on my channel. Um, you know, that out of office <laughs> reply, you just put that on everything. Because the energy that supports you right now is to kind of hold tight, hold on to what you got and what you know, but give your time some, give yourself some time here to rest, to look after you and allow the information to really come through. Maybe you're only getting a trickle of this information because it's being blocked by so many distractions and so many other energies that aren't yours. There's a lot more truth and clarity that can be gained here. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to go right to your advice card to try to see what, why this is so beneficial for you to sit Oh, sorry, it's the Five of Cups. Silly me. It was actually not that far. I called it a pity party. It spilled milk. That's what. That's kind of funny. It is a five. So something didn't work out. Yeah, but there's a party sitting behind you. But you really wanted those three glasses of wine. I know. Three was probably too much. You probably maybe just need one. You don't need all three. It is a Five of Cups. Something feels like it's just, well, obviously it just didn't work out. It's really unusual because your past, though, is the sun. Maybe it seemed like the sun. Maybe it was more like a Jupiter energy, like Jupiter has all the elements of the sun, and it's so big. It's the biggest planet um, in our solar system. It has such a big effect on other things around it, and the sun is everything. Almost like a false sun. Something seemed like wish fulfillment or clarity, but in the end, like your advice is to look at this, this five of cups. That's too many. Oh my God, guys. I feel like such a weird energy in your reading, Sag. The five of cups. The five of cups. I'm going to shuffle and split it. I feel... Oh, okay, we got two that came out nice and and this one actually did come out when the mid full. Um, the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. See, there's something big and heavy here. A burden to get to the truth. There's something that you're carrying on your shoulders. It's preventing you from seeing the truth. Just look at your sun. The recent past, the most significant is the sun. What is this sun card? The 
world in the Nine of Cups because the Nine of Cups is like your immediate future, most significant. So something, something ended here. Oh, you know what? You're seeing no. You're definitely going to feel better after you allow yourself to rest. You really have to allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to heal from things that feel disappointing. Because something has ended here for you with the world card, and maybe it's the sun, maybe it was some sort of wish fulfillment. I also feel like though something's beginning here for you with this world card, because if something major is ending, something major is also beginning. And you're pulling in the nine of cups twice. So you are pulling in some sort of wish fulfillment. You are about to bring your, your own vibrational energy higher. But you gotta, there's, this caretaker card is the first one. Like you have to allow you to have some time to heal here. You have to allow yourself to be almost like just completely absorbed in your energy and nothing else. Do, um, I do a bath too, maybe in like Epsom salts or um, some sort of salt water bath with some essential oils. Like, so try to remove other energies that are not yours off of you. Because you are given the time here. You're going to heal. And you can't really hit the Nine of Cups unless you have healed. You have looked at things that you find very heavy and disappointing in life. Why is this Queen of Cups your weakness? Why is this showing up as your weakness? The Queen of Cups? I'm just realizing there's no wands in this reading at all except the one clarifier, the Ten of Wands. So you're not in your energy, Sag. This is almost like when I've been doing readings for Taurus lately. There's no pentacles. You're not in your energy. Where's your fire gone? It needs to heal. Why is this Queen of Swords a weakness for Sagittarius? You're being held back and you don't know why from something. But the energy that surrounds and supports you right now is being held back. So why is the universe, how is this surrounding and supporting Sagittarius? How is this surrounding and supporting Sagittarius? It's like you want to move forward with your heart, with an openness, but it's serving as a weakness because you're feeling so held back, maybe making you second guess your journey or what you're feeling. But the universe is holding you back for a reason. The Page of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. There's some sort of new information to come in. I feel like there's gonna be some sort of a message. Something's gonna shift and change here that's going to put you in a much better place. Like you've got, you're bringing out two wonderful nines. Nine of Cups twice and now the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to have some sort of significant sovereignty and stability, which is fascinating because your mental emotional state is justice. You might be going through either um, a legal process, closing off a karmic cycle in, in, the, in the throes of doing that right now, or you have been doing that. Something has depleted you. Now look at this. The book that she holds actually says law. Black and white cat, yin and yang. Something going on between you and uh, like a, a, an opposite. I mean, it could be a spouse, it could be a business partner. Something involving give and take, and there needed to be a balance here. There's going to be a message to you. You feel stuck, like you can't move. Now what I'm getting with this even more so is making a plan. Making the plan for yourself, sort of um, a little bit like a vision board. I started something kind of similar last night. 
it's not it's not even quite at that level it's a baby step for me so like a lot of you probably know that I'm I'm moving because I've been renting a house and I have to go rent another house but I mean I want to own a house again so I have this thing in the mail where they're just a little bit north of me they're going to be building these new houses and you can register and go online well, I may not even end up there but I went online and I looked at it all and I was thinking about what I wanted and what I didn't want and uh, I registered, I thought, well, whatever, we'll see what happens, right? And I thought, it's just getting myself in a frame of mind towards the future. I'm kind of feeling like something like that for you. If, if you physically feel like you can't do anything for your future, there is something you can physically do. Like you could physically go online and register for that. Or you could physically go online and print out, I mean, if you can get magazines, you can cut out magazines to make like a vision board, a dream board for what it is that you want when you get past the point that you're in now. And that, that might be what's helping you to bring up your, um, your vibrational energy. That's interesting. So I'm getting as well that creating a vision board is going, maybe you've been afraid it would, Either you're afraid it would or it's going to. Something's going to happen here that's, that may trigger you, um, may kind of flick on switches of this disappointment. Because perhaps whatever this is in your recent past, the sun, but there's been some sort of major ending, but there's a new major beginning. And you could say the Nine of Cups is taking you to a really wonderful energy that could turn into the sun, could turn into the Ten of Cups. You might be looking at things that you've had in the past and you want to reclaim some of that or you want to reinvent that for yourself. Uh, like sort of wrap it up in a new concept for you. But it's about working through these things that have felt disappointing. Sort of getting comfortable with that and accepting it for what it is on a really emotional level. It's kind of funny, this vision board coming in for you. Because it does feel like you can't physically do whatever it is you want to do for your future. Something that you want to try to achieve or go after right now. You're kind of being held back. Let's, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. It almost feels vision boardish to me. like Because it's physically doing something and making a plan though. But like really taking stock of what it is you do. Oh yeah, what... It absolutely is it's what you're wishing and hoping and dreaming for. Make this wish. You can do it. Yeah. The star. This is going to help you heal. A vision board would literally help you heal here. And don't do it around anyone else. Don't ask anyone else their opinion or um, help for it. If you want to pick up some magazines from a friend, you know, sanitize them first. They want to know why you want them. I don't know. I just, my, my table wobbles. I need to put something under the. Don't let anyone know. I really feel like it's important for your energy somehow to keep it really about you. Like, this is about you. Be really wholesome and true to that, Sagittarius. And maybe, too, this is how some of this knowledge comes in. You know, it's always interesting when you talk about downloads. And sometimes it's the things that you kind of wake up in the morning, all of a sudden you understand something more clearly. Or you're doing something very mundane, like maybe washing the dishes or cutting the grass, and your mind waters, and wow, now I get it. Or, you know, you could be, maybe you need to present ideas to yourself, possibilities to yourself, beyond your circumstances right now. Present some possibilities to yourself that are beyond your circumstances right now that reach further into what your real wishes and dreams are for you. And make it real and tangible. Make it something that you can look at, even if it's a digital um, vision board. You know, you turn into the screensaver on your computer or something and you can look at it or the background wallpaper. So you're always sort of looking at that and projecting yourself into what you want to have. I think it's really a beneficial thing for you to do right now because you're moving into this cycle. And this is the energy of communicating to the universe to achieve your wishes and your dreams. You are so close. But there's just a little tiny 
energy hiccup. You're going to heal. That's your potential outcome. You're going to be healed here. What is this justice? Your mental emotional state here. Yeah, it's funny. I'm looking at her shadow and it reminds me of Batman. So why I'm saying that is like, if you look at the shadow, doesn't it look like more like Batman, like with a pointy ear? And I just think of Batman and coming like in his dark lair. <laughs> so maybe you sort of feel like you're in a dark lair. You're in a dark place. But truly you're meant to do good things. It's almost as if some sort of darkness has sucked you in. And it has something to do with justice and the law. So your mental emotional state for Sagittarius, the justice card... Wow. The Nine of Swords, the King of Swords, and Judgment. I could not, I could not scream any more clearly to us. It, I don't know who, I don't know how many people out there could literally be involved in something to do with the law, but this is pretty clear. And the King of Swords is pretty cut and dry. It's like factual based and a judgment to be placed. So you're waiting for some sort of a judgment, but the, the world, the, the universe is kind of holding you tight. Maybe you're waiting to hear something or you're going back and forth. Maybe you're trying to buy um, something or a house. Like my mom is actually trying to find a new place to live. It's not quite as big as what she has now and not as isolated. <laughs> it's just like it's a total <laughs> shit show out where she is. It's an area where... It's mostly usually cottages, and if something goes up for sale, it sits on the market for months. Like, there's, it's crazy. And she finally found a place, and the woman is, well, you know, I got some stuff to do. I'll get back to you in a week. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, it feels like you've been put, you're just waiting to hear. You kind of did what you could do. You're waiting, and you wait, and it weighs on you. It weighs on you sort of mentally, which then becomes emotionally, which then could even become physically. So you are so close to reaching something. I feel like you're going to have, whatever this is, the universe is keeping you in place because you're going to come out really good in this. You're going to come out financially stable if this has something to do with money. You're going to come out feeling like really healthier i just want to say like with the the page of wands like that's like the mojo like sort of having your spark back looking good feeling good yeah that's definitely that's definitely something to do with like a court system your strength is a two of swords I want to say it's almost as if not knowing the outcome is a strength for you. Because I was I was tempted to pull a clarifier and see if I could get any more information on how this judgment could go. And I'm being drawn to this two of swords because it your, it's your strength. So you don't really know. And it could go either way. It could be either thing. It could be this or that. That's serving as your strength. How does that serve as Sagittarius' strength? Gosh darn it. The Justice card came out again. It's telling me. This is so strong. The Justice card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. I don't know how, but there's going to be judgment here. And you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to have more freedom, right? Because the Four of Pentacles, there's really no freedom there. You're kind of, this person is stuck. Stuck somewhere. They're just guarding their, the little portion of what they have in this world. And don't want anyone to come near. Don't want don't feel like anyone can come near. They just need to guard this and protect this. But when this justice comes out, this ruling, this decision, you can share your energy again in a really wonderful manner. And look at and then you can move forward with an open heart chakra. You can feel like you can feel alive and love again. 
Okay, let's look at the surprise from the universe for you. That's this page of pentacles. This is a surprise from the universe. How is this page of pentacles a surprise from you? Ah, you see, look at that. You got the three of cups. Reconciliation. Celebration again. Things are going to get better, Sag. Make a vision board for yourself. Make that vision board. Anything else about this surprise from the universe? The Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Wow, you're going to reconcile with some pretty strong energy. Either or set yourself up into some pretty strong energy. I think you're going to... I think this is an indirect way of the spirit, the universe, trying to tell you that whatever this is, this judgment that you're waiting for with this justice card and the king of swords, like this is based on fact. I don't care how you felt about the situation. I don't care how, I don't know, this person reacted. Well, you kind of think, you know. It's all about this, this, and that. And looking at it that way. Your potential outcome is healed here, the Four of Swords. What specifically will be healed for Sagittarius? What specifically will be here healed for Sagittarius? So many cards. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Wow. You know what? I feel like some of you might be going through almost, I want to say, like, even it could be like a divorce energy. You have the Hangman, the Five of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be going through something with someone who is a counterpart to you on some level. Whether it's a business partner, it's um, a romantic partner, it's, uh, I'm hearing siblings too. Like literally, on someone's coming to the reading that they're fighting over um, an inherited property. Fighting over some inheritance or something. And it's causing, like, real, it's causing you to try to look at things from so many different perspectives, feeling disappointment about it not working out, wanting to try to reconcile it and charge in and fix it, and realizing you just need to pull away emotionally from it. And then the Hierophant with the Queen of Pentacles. Because you're having the King and Queen of Pentacles coming out here, talking about some sort of judge, judgment with justice. But it's going to be reconciled. And we have the Page of Pentacles here too. So there could even be a child or children involved. But this is going to be healed. So maybe once the judgment comes through, communication is much easier. There isn't, um, there isn't animosity or there isn't people holding back because they don't want it to, to have an, an, affect the outcome of a judgment for or not of their favor I'm sorry this has just gotten like really this is the kind of energy I expect in um, an extended where I kind of come out here and then go into the extended it really zones in this is really zoned in right now I'm going to look at caretaker here because okay? to me this is a message directly to you outside of everything else because it's about it's about you the caretaker energy here, the caretaker. See, you need to get the mojo back. It's the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you might be feeling depleted. This is a time to give yourself, allow yourself to dream a little in part of your healing and resting here. Allow yourself to dream a little. If it, Don't even think you're wasting your time looking online, looking at what you'd like to do. Maybe when COVID is over, if you want to travel, there's things you want to see and do. If there's people that you want to see. <laughs> I almost said if there's people you want to see and do, but maybe there is, I don't know. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> Whatever that is for you. If you want that cabin in the woods, if you want a, an RV, a motorhome, you want the big house with the pool, whatever that is, allow yourself to dream. I'm really coming, that's got to be what this is going to be called. Allow yourself to dream, Sagittarius, because it's going to work out. But I do feel like you're in a state where it almost feels like there is no future. Like, this just sucks. I know. Yeah. The four cups is at the bottom. Oh! Damn! Look at, look at this, look at this. 
Allow yourself to dream, okay? Allow yourself to feel disappointment and everything. Look, look what happens when you dream. You can turn the Four of Cups into the Ten of Cups. Bing! Yeah! Yeah, baby! My ears are getting so itchy doing your reading, too. It's almost like you're waiting to hear something. It's driving me crazy. You're waiting to hear something. Allow yourself to dream. Thanks, Sagittarius. I'm going to go do the extended. I'm going to pull from a new deck. I'm going to find out what continues to come off of your potential out outcome and more cards for advice for you moving forward. And there we go. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.